Hello guys, hope you're well. So a few weeks ago I put out a um, message on the community posts just to say that I was planning on doing a bit of an Ask Me Anything video. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So thank you very much for joining and thank you to those of you who did ask questions. So the first question we've got is from Dutch Ava and Dutch Ava asks, do you ever see yourself doing build orders for hybrid or water maps? So. Um, I do have a Galley Rush build order, um, only one, so I could probably do some more, um, although there's only really so much you can do on water, uh, but certainly for hybrid maps there's, there's certainly some possibilities there, yeah, so I may very well consider doing those in the future. So following on from that we've got a question from Juan Rodriguez Laredo, and uh, Juan asks, are you planning to do Regicide and or Empire Wars build orders in the future? So not regicide um, I think you just generally do the same thing pretty much as you would ordinarily with regicide um, in terms of Empire Wars yes definitely uh, that's actually what I'm gonna be focusing on over the next few months uh, once the patch is introduced which um, has added Empire Wars to the ranked ladder because there's not really any Empire Wars build orders on YouTube I have done one um, which was a Night Rush build order um, I'm going to be changing that one because I did do a video, I don't know if you saw it, which was me basically moaning that the current Empire Wars setup within Age of Empires 2 DE wasn't in line with Red Bull Wallalo. So if you're expecting to play Empire Wars after watching Red Bull Wallalo, it's going to be different. But the developers with the upcoming patch have standardised it, so they've made it actually so it's going to be the same as uh, what you would find in Red Bull Wallado now. So yeah, going to be ramping up the Empire Wars build orders in uh, time for the uh, ranked ladder being added. I mean, there, there is generally a, a standard meta with Empire Wars, which is essentially one range archers uh, opening. But it'd um, be good to see what other things you can do, I think. Okay, so then we have another question from somebody who uh, I'm just going to call Land Jaeger because my pronunciations are awful so i'll call you call you land jaeger um but um, the question from land jaeger is how do you come up with build orders and how do you develop it um which i found this was a really really good question so in terms of how you come up with build orders it's a lot of it's based on existing build orders that have been developed over the last 20 years uh, to be honest so it's kind of having that basic um, knowledge of you know your standard builds already and then it's just a case of just trial and error um, I generally do it on um, games against AI so that if it goes wrong I can just restart it easily enough um, yeah it's just testing just testing perhaps you know have, have one extra villager here or one less villager here and uh, see how that goes um, so it can be quite a lengthy process um, especially when you're trying to optimize it as well and make it as as efficient as possible because there are some uh, build orders where you can perhaps do it a little bit less but um, it's either you know, perhaps too tight or it's just not going to be a good idea because you've just not got an efficient economy so um, sometimes with build orders, just because you, you can uh, do something quickly doesn't mean you should. Um, there, there are some other examples of that uh, that I've come across in the past which uh, I've not featured on my channel because I, I just didn't think there were ones that you should necessarily do. But um, yeah, that's generally what's involved. Yeah, it's just a bit of trial and error based off existing knowledge and uh, you know previous sort of standard build orders that we have and uh, just tweaking it accordingly. So next question is from Norman Bradley who asks, if I could play one sieve for the rest of my life, both for fun and sieve strength, which sieve would it be? Quite a tricky one, because for years I used to love playing the Ethiopians. Um, I'm not quite so keen on them anymore. They're a good sieve, but I've just, I've, I've, I've kind of just fell out of love with them. I think it's because I've turned into more of a cavalry player than an archer player that I used to be. Um, but 
thing with Ethiopians, they're very, very fun, safe to play on maps like Black Forest or something along those sorts of lines where you can build up an economy. And basically, I just love torsion engines. So just getting a big, massive uh, siege on just with uh, torsion engines is just amazing. Uh, and I quite like the Shadow Warriors as well. But uh, in terms of favourite saves and ones I would choose to play if I could only choose one, it would be quite a hard one. It would be either the Teutons. Uh, because I find them to be a really strong save, the, certainly in line with my playstyle, which is very cavalry focused. Um, certainly after they had their buff uh, quite a while ago in terms of where they received the extra pierce, or, um, extra melee armor, that really made them a really, really strong save. Um, and the other one is probably Chinese. Um, so after learning the build orders myself for the Chinese and basically just knowing that you know learning how to play them um they've become probably my favorite sieve uh they're just very very fun sieve to use and i generally find they can counter pretty much anything so the next question is from dark clestry i think i pronounced that right probably not probably butchered that one but um so dark clestry's question is is bread put together a sandwich or a burger in, in terms of <laughs> In terms of two slices of bread put together, obviously there's going to be a filling in between. Um, if it's bread, it, it's just a sandwich. Yeah, it's just a sandwich. A burger, what makes a burger is the burger itself. So the, the, the actual hamburger or cheeseburger or whatever. So the next question is from Dan Lynch, who asks, what's my favorite sieve to play with? And least favorite play, sieve to play with, and which is my favorite to, uh, Sieve and least favorite sieve to play against. Okay, um, playing against uh, worst. I'll go for the worst sieves to play against because that kind of sticks out in my mind a bit more. I'd probably say any of the mezzo sieves. I just find that they can make a switch from archers into um, eagle warriors too quickly. Um, and it can be quite tricky to deal with, especially if you've kind of geared yourself up to you know, counter archers. But that's you know, something that probably just more reflective of my ELO level, <laughs> I suppose, if anything. Um, favourite sieves to play with, uh, kind of already mentioned that, so tunes and Chinese. Least favourite sieves to play with, I'd probably say Malay. I have just done some Malay build orders, but I just find them to be quite weak late game. Or at least I don't know how to play them late game. Other sieves that I don't like playing as Burmese. Don't particularly like Burmese. I'm trying to think what other sieves there are. Cumans. I don't like playing as a Cumans. I don't think they're particularly great. Yeah, I'd say those those are the, the, the main ones. Favourite sieves to play again against. <laughs> You'll be surprised at this, but I actually prefer playing against the Franks uh, because I do find they're easily counterable. Um, if you've got you know the, the, the right sieve to go against them so um, certainly as playing as tunes and Chinese as my favorite sieves they both count the Franks pretty easily uh, pretty well um, Lithuanians I probably say Lithuanians are one that I don't like uh, actually uh, I find they can be quite frustrating to play against uh, once they've got the relics Okay, so the next question is from Mark Smith. Mark asks, are you going to do a tutorial on Castle Age and beyond? Most build orders are about getting to a certain stage, but not further. Or a tutorial of macro and micro management, like scan minimap, idols, eco, army create villages, etc. Uh, to which someone else has replied, it's a good idea. Map control, post imperial, eco balance it. Now, um, it's not something that I feel as though I'm particularly qualified <laughs> to uh, to do a video around um, general sort of hints and tips around macro and micro because I'm not a pro player by any means. I'm only you know above average. Um, I wouldn't certainly class myself as a, a good player being a th at being thirteen hundred. So. Um, yeah, that's probably a tutorial I could do with Avin myself, to be honest. Um, in terms of Castle Age and beyond, I think, I think in those situations, it's more a case of it. There's just too much going off in a game, and you know a game could go any way at that point. So I don't think you can really do a, a specific, you know, this is what you need to do once you've done your build order uh, kind of video because it's it all depends on the game and what's happening. 
Okay, next question is from NoFX. Uh, so NoFX asks, what is the most infuriating thing someone did to you during a ranked or online match? Nothing particularly stands out in my mind, but um, I hate lamers um, with a passion. <laughs> so I just, that's a different topic, but uh, yeah, I just do not like being lamed, um, whether it's my sheep uh, or my boar. I'd, I'd rather lose two sheep than a boar, obviously, because there's a bigger um, food cost, but I just don't think there's any need for it. Yeah, next question is from Red LFC DD. So I'm assuming a, a Red LFC is a Liverpool FC fan. Um, who asks, uh, is a Jaffa cake a biscuit or a cake? Now, this is one of life's many, many mysteries. So, and it only really uh, would make sense to anyone from the UK, I think because uh, I don't think you probably get Jaffa cakes anywhere else but basically a Jaffa cake is found on the biscuit aisle in a supermarket but obviously the clues in the name they are called cakes so I don't know is it a cake I would say it's a cake because it's kind of like a sponge uh, biscuit but it's it's kind of like stale sponge like a stale sponge cake it's, so it's kind of gone a bit dry and hard the sponge and then it's got this orange jelly on it and then it's got obviously a layer of chocolate on top um i don't really care if it's a biscuit or a cake they're just bloody lovely <laughs> okay next question we've got from prabhu ruben thomas who is uh, very much a regular on the uh, on the channel in terms of comments and stuff so uh ruben asks what were the games that i play so um, traditionally, I always generally just play RTS games um, of some sort, but I always um, like to play simulation type games as well. So, um, Planet Coaster, um, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 back in the day. Um, what other games? Um, Planet Zoo, I play. Um, Evil Genius 2 is one that I bought recently. I've not really played it much, but um, it's one I bought recently. Uh, Space Based Startopia. Um, what else? Total War. I quite like the Total War series. I never really got into the Warhammer ones, but I've got one too. Just haven't really played them much. Oh, did I buy two? I'm not sure if I bought two or not. Anyway, um, I used to play a lot of like Football Manager as well. I used to play Football Manager quite a lot. They had quite a varied selection, really, uh, of games that I play. Um, but it's, it's generally Age of Empires 2, I don't really get a chance to um, play anything else. But a little fun fact actually, I did uh, initially start this channel up thinking of having it as like a games review channel. Um, but obviously all my audience was only really wanted to watch Age of Empires. So I did create a second channel, which I did start. I've not really done much with it though. There are some videos on there um, for Space Based Autopia and Evil Genius 2. But, as I say, I've not really done much with it because I've just not got time uh, to, to try and run two channels. But um, if it picks up, you know, if, if suddenly a, a, an influx of uh, viewers from this channel decide to go over there and um, watch the stuff that I've made there, then I'll uh, potentially start it up again. But I'll post the link in the video description should you wish to have a look. Okay, and then we've got a few questions from Discord. So Decepticon asks, should the Turks have better trash units because they're quite reliant on gold? Um, no, I don't think so. I think um, I think it's just what makes that's kind of what makes Turks who they are. Um, so no, I don't think there's really any need there. I think the recent buff that they had to their um, cavalry line or, or the scout line um, was pretty good. Max Payne asks. How do I feel about the recent Inca nerf? Uh, should they have gotten something in return? No, I don't think so. I'm quite happy with, with the nerf. I think the, the strategy was very annoying, <laughs> personally, to play against. Um, I know it's something a lot of people used to enjoy doing, but um, I think the Incas have got a lot more going for them. Um, they've still got Eagle Warriors, which are you know, particularly strong, decent. Um, Archer line, they've obviously got the um, slingers which are really really good um, against infantry so if someone's going for champions to counter your eagles you know you've got the the hard counter there with the with the slingers so no i don't think they needed anything in return and the final question is from Prenatron, who asks are you a cat or a dog person 
I'm probably more of a cat person. I've grown up with cats um, when I was a kid, never had a dog um, until I met my wife who had a little dog who's still with us. Um, and we've also got a cat as well. So yeah, but I'm more of a cat person. But that's it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I shall see you on the next one.